Identity authenticity and the effectiveness of leadership lie at the very core of our modern political struggles. When people hear the words of these women, they can't help but feel a deep, aching sense of empathy. They echo the pain and frustration of a public that feels utterly disconnected from the political elite. Leaders who seem out of touch with the very people they are meant to represent. There's a cry for leaders who are not just figures in suits, but individuals perceived as honest, effective, and true to their word. The longing for leadership that not only addresses immediate concerns, but also assuages deep fears about the integrity and authenticity of those at the helm. What do you guys think about Kamala? It'll be cool She's to terrible. See... If she comes into office, it will be done. It'll be cool to see no. a female black... No, she's half black, not fully black, but uh, it'll be cool to see a black president, female black president, but I'm I'm definitely voting for Trump. Let me tell you something. She tries to get the black vote because if you look at her past mm -hmm. things and maybe 10, 15 years ago when she's in interviews, she identifies as West Indian. She does. She the does only not. way that she's identified as African-American is right now, during right now, because she wants the voters, That's but true. she doesn't give a fuck because where was she at? In these past four years, and she's vice president. What has she done for us? She have not. Can you say shit. one thing? That I didn't done? even know she was the vice president. Can we That's say what she has done? Let's go, Trump. And I am going to stand on Trump. And I'm so sorry if that make ruffle people feathers. I'm but sorry. I have done my own research, and Trump has done a lot for us more than what the media tries to portray. They're getting all our favorite rappers. They're having Megan the Stallion swerve and all of that. They said game because they think that that's going to make us vote for them, mm -hmm. and that's not. That never got my vote. And that will never get my vote. Twerking and I'm going to stand on that. Vote. Twerking did not get my vote. Met the That's stallion. ignorant. First off, the That's song ignorant. that she was even saying is very ignorant. The power of authenticity and true representation in leadership. The anger and disillusionment expressed by these women reflect a broader, more insidious criticism of Kamala Harris. A belief that her identity and political priorities feel misaligned. The heartfelt words of these women who see Harris as someone who once identified as West Indian American, but now seemingly claims an African American identity for political gain, cut to the bone. It's not just about political maneuvering. It's about a deep-seated fear that some leaders are more concerned with pandering than with producing real, tangible results. This is where the conservative call for leaders who embody sincerity, consistency, and unwavering faithfulness to their values resonates so powerfully. It's a call for leadership that is not just about the right words, but about living those words every single day.